Good afternoon, Rick. Tag out here, and today we're going to be looking at Unify Talk. Um, this is the public release that was released um, just about a week and a half ago. Um, we're currently on version 1.11.10. Um, the application itself is still technically a beta, I guess, but they have released the functionality to everybody in the United States. Um, so each number is $9.99 a month, and that gives you 3,000 combined inbound outbound minutes per month. Um, obviously you can have multiple numbers in this and we'll get to that in a second once we look at the actual controller setup um, and how that works. Uh, so we have smart um, attendant greetings and that gets you a uh, basically a uh, tree of numbers so press one for so-and-so press two for so-and-so um, that can go to different groups of phones um, or different numbers uh, within your talk controller. Um, so we're going to check all that out here. Um, I have my talk controller right here and I have my UVP flex phone set up. Um, I am planning on getting one of the touchscreen phones here soon as well um, because there's some more functionality in those as far as looking at your Unify cameras and Unify protection, that kind of stuff. Um, so I just set this up fresh. Just purchased, <coughs> excuse me, just purchased the number. So there's no call logs or anything like that. Uh, but we have the system performance right here the uh, closest server ping, uptime, how many number subscriptions I have, and who the SIP provider is, and it's just Unify Talk. Uh, you can use your own SIP provider if you have an existing one. Uh, so we head over here to Devices. We can see the phone, the number assigned to it, um, and all that kind of stuff. So you get your call log, your settings, you can assign different people. Um, you can name the phone that kind of stuff. We have users here. Uh, I'm not going to show that because it actually has names and stuff like that and their email addresses, all that kind of stuff for different users. Uh, here is your smart attendant. Um, so you can set this up. You can have your <coughs> custom greeting. You can have multiple smart attendants if you have multiple numbers. Um, so you can have a different set of options for each number. And then you can you know, press one for whatever and then you can choose who it goes to um, so you can choose a group um, if you have a sales team you can have you know four or five or however many phones on that team so when they press one all those phones are going to ring and then somebody can pick it up um, or you can have just one person uh, one thing I do wish they would add to this which I don't know if it's coming or what not but you cannot have just a press two for like hours or information um, and have it read another greeting it has to go to a phone um, so I wish they would add that, um, see where you can, you know, press one for hours and then it just reads the hours instead of sending the call to a phone. Uh, then right here we have the call log, which again is going to be empty because I haven't used it yet. Um, I did use this when it was in beta before, but I did restart, uh, reset the controller, um, when it came out. Um, right here we have your hold music. For some reason it won't, oh, nope, there it is. Uh, so you can you can test that out. There's a few different ones here you can you can do. I think we're gonna use that one. Uh, you can enable voicemail right here. I don't know where the voicemails are saved to if it's on your UDM Pro directly, um, but for the call recording you do need a hard drive in your UDM Pro, um, and then you obviously have to agree to this to make sure you're in compliance um, with call recording laws and that kind of stuff. Um, make sure you you know, have your greeting set up to where you're telling people you're recording calls, um, if you do that, of course, and check your local laws and how, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you have your global contacts, which I don't have any, um, your numbers and subscriptions. Uh, so all your different numbers that you have right here, uh, if they're assigned and who they're assigned to, uh, the upcoming payments, when that's going to be, how many minutes you've used, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can port numbers over. Um, so that's where you would see all that request right there and uh, your third-party SIP providers right here if you have those. Um, emergency calling is for E911. Um, I'm not going to click on that because it does have addresses in there. You do have to assign that for um, if you dial 911 from your phone. That way they know where you're located. Uh, system settings right here. Um, basically, who's the admin? It's just your Unify, uh, Unify admin on your UDM Pro. If that's what you're using, you can use a UDM Pro or a um, Cloud Key Gen 2, Cloud Key Plus Gen 2. Uh, you can download your, your support files here, reset the talk application, debug logging, um, static signaling port, which is 
uh, port forwarding, uh, port 6767. Um, some SIP providers require that, so if, if you're using a third-party SIP provider, uh, you may need to turn that on. Um, but that is basically the Unify Talk application. I don't really have anything to show you on the phone because it's just the basic UVP uh, Flex phone. Um, so it's not one of the touchscreen ones or anything like that with anything fancy. Uh, but it works pretty well. Like I said, there's some room for improvement on the smart attendant, I think, with the um, with the, the text to voice. I wish they would add it so it could read off like hours or information um, without having to transfer it to an actual phone line. Um, you can also have groups, um, which I don't know where that, oh, that's under users. So I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to go there because it does have other information in there as well. Um, but you can have groups, so you can group um, one phone number to multiple phones. Um, if you only have one phone number, you can still have multiple phones, but I don't think you can make more than one outgoing call at a time. Um, not too sure on that because I only have one phone, um, but you can have one set, one group of phones set to one number um, so they can all call from the same uh, outgoing number and all ring for the same incoming number, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so it works pretty well. Um, Unify Talk is uh, here. It is available in the U.S. only right now for purchasing phone numbers. Um, so it will be coming to other regions here shortly. Um, I don't know an exact date on that, but if you're interested in it, follow the UI form right here, and you can see all that kind of stuff when it is available. This has been Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible.